as we are now nestled right up against February with Gran Turismo 7 right around the corner, the hype train is not stopping, and we have a very small, less than 30 second long kind of mini trailer, which funnily enough isn't so much for Gran Turismo 7, it's actually more for the PlayStation State of Play, which is coming out on the 2nd of February, which is in a couple of days on Wednesday. But even though this trailer is only a 30 second snippet teaser, there are actually three notable moments, three new things. Now I'm going to break down those moments in kind of a screen grab form so that you can actually see them more properly than just in the video where they fly by. One of them has been highly speculated in a number of places. The other two, though, are much more overt, much easier to spot, and much more clear. So let's get to the two which are more solid first. The first one is we now have confirmation that the Mark III all-wheel drive Ford Focus RS is going to be in the game, as you can see here, racing on the rally circuit against the Ford Raptors. So that one is doubtless going to be a very popular and very useful car. The second one is interestingly not necessarily a new model, but might turn out to be a Gran Turismo 5 style kind of race modification of an existing car. Because way back in an older trailer, we already had confirmation for like a split second of the Sylvia S15 being in Gran Turismo 7. And of course, go back to the older vids that I did to cover that. In this trailer, though, we see a white racing version of that Sylvia. And to be completely honest, the first time I saw it in the trailer, I didn't even pay any attention to it. I'm so used to seeing Sylvia race cars in Gran Turismo that it just went over my head. Then when I slowed down the trailer, I thought, well, hang on a minute. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in GT Sport. And then when you compare it to this image of the Sylvia touring car from Gran Turismo 6, it's not the same car. So I reckon, and I know a number of you guys reckon this as well, this is more likely than not some of the race modifications fitted to that road-going version. That remains to be seen, but there is certainly a precedent in Gran Turismo's history with Gran Turismo 2 and Gran Turismo 5 in particular to have road cars being turned into these racing variants. The last one is the one which has had the most speculation. It's the one that I'm not 100% sold on, but I could certainly see a couple of circumstantial bits of evidence for this to be true, and that is that some people think that the Ferrari Testarossa is confirmed in this trailer. Now, I'm going to include a couple of images, and again, even when you try and screen grab, grab it, it's very blurry, and it's only on screen for like half a second, but you can see a Ferrari F40, of course, in red, being followed by another red car, which is not an F40, through a tunnel section. Now, if you pause it at the right time, you can just about make out kind of a, a square or, I guess, technically rectangular grille on the front and some low-down lights. It certainly does look like a Testarossa from some of those snippets and moments, so it could well be. The reason why I think it could be more than any other reason, because to be honest, visually, it's kind of hit or miss, I think it's actually circumstantially appropriate if that were a Testarossa. Because think about it. It's basically a one-on-one -on -one battle that we're seeing here between a red Ferrari and another red vehicle. Well, it's that kind of time period, and what would be more appropriate, given the current lineup, than seeing it go up against a Testarossa? It's clearly not a LaFerrari or an Enzo or an F50, so that would make sense. So that one's more of a possibility. We don't have confirmation on that yet. And of course, the main thing to bear in mind is that this is not like the last of the footage that we're getting. And there is a decent chance that we may see even more footage, maybe even a clearer look at some of these cars, which we haven't seen as well yet, such as this quote unquote Testarossa in the State of Play event. So I will certainly be checking that out and covering it if there is any, uh, any interesting stuff. If it's the same footage, probably not, but I think it probably will be some new stuff in there. So, of course, stick around on the channel for more. Did you notice anything additional in the trailer that you thought was interesting? Of course, we had some new footage or additional footage of the Ford GT race car as well, which we already knew was coming, but it's always cool to see more of that. And, of course, stick around on the channel for the State of Play coverage and more GT7 coverage in future. And, of course, a hell of a lot more coverage when the game itself actually comes out. But until next time, I'll see you then. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.